Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with me, Nathan. In this video, I want to show you an open source project that's incredibly helpful for cloud code users. Let me introduce you to Claudia. So, Claudia is a desktop app companion that will give you a fully graphical user interface and extensions for cloud code. It is open source and it's got a bunch of features that promises to improve your workflow. Cloud code is powerful, but managing it through terminal commands can be overwhelming. Developers often struggle with managing multiple sessions, no official way to see previous conversations, and having difficulty tracking token usage and causes across projects. If I had to sum it up in one line, Claudia turns cloud code into something more like Google Jules or OpenAI Codex. It provides a way to spin up multiple agents that can perform specific tasks, all within a clean and intuitive UI. You can easily navigate between all your projects, view and resume review sessions with full context, and create custom agents with custom system prompts, like a test agent, a coding assistant, or anything else you need. Once you've set up your agents, you can assign them to different projects and give them tasks to execute. These agents operate in sandbox environments with fine-grained permission controls. You also get detailed logs and performance metrics for each agent run. On top of that, Claudia gives you real-time monitoring of your cloud API usage and causes with clear breakdowns by model, project, and time period. It also has beautiful charts that show trends and usage patterns. So if you've been using cloud code and wish it had a proper graphical user interface to make things easier, then you definitely must try out Claudia. Next, let me show you how to install and run Claudia on your computer. Now, before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below, and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. Alright, to get Claudia installed on your computer, you actually need to build it yourself because as you can see here, the executables for all major operating systems are not yet ready. So if you want to use it, you need to follow the build steps in its GitHub repo. Now here are the system requirements to make sure that you have what it takes to run the app. So first, you need to install the Rust programming language, Bun, as well as Git and Cloud Code CLI. After that, you also have to install some dependencies depending on the operating system you're using. If you use Linux, then here are the dependencies you need to install. And if you're using Mac OS, you need to install the Xcode command line tools. And for Windows, you need to install Microsoft C++ build tools and WebView too. You can just follow the steps outlined here, I already have them installed on my computer. Once you have all the requirements, you need to clone the GitHub repository, so just copy this command first and then paste it into your terminal or command line. Here, I already have an empty folder open in VS Code and I will paste the command to VS Code's terminal window over here. Press enter and once the repo is cloned, use the cd command to enter the repo and run the bun install command. Once all dependencies are installed, you can run the bun run tower build command to build the Claudia application. Now this build process will take some time, so I will skip ahead to when it's finished. So here the build process is finished and Claudia actually mounts the app so that I can copy it to my Mac application folder. So just install the application and here's the main interface of Claudia. Here, you don't have to mess around with command line arguments or config files anymore. When you open Claudia, it will automatically detect the cloud directory configured by cloud code. All previous cloud code conversations will also appear in the CC projects menu automatically, so you will have a smooth transition. On the top right corner, we can see all Claudia features. First, there is the agent menu where you can create, manage, and run agents in the background. For example, here I will create a new agent for coding assistant, and then I can input the default has to perform, the icon for this agent, the model to use, as well as the system prompt. I will just put assist with development tasks and then click save to create the agent. Next, there is the usage dashboard where you can see the total cost, sessions, most used models, top projects, and other details. After that, there is the cloud.md modification menu where you can configure commands and add default contacts and rules for all future interactions. Next to that, there is the MCP menu for managing and adding new MCP servers. 
With this menu, you can conveniently add new MCP server by entering the server properties so you don't have to manually edit the MCP JSON file. You can also import or export MCP configurations in Claudia so MCP setup will be a breeze. And finally, there is the settings menu where you can customize Claudia further such as changing the active theme to dark, gray, or light here. Um, I think I will use the gray theme as I like it more than the other. Next, you can also set the path to cloud code here and then in the permissions tab, you can auto approve or disallow tools and commands. And then in the environment tab, you can add environment variables and other things. So there is a bunch of customization options in this menu that I would just skip through for now. But these settings are very useful if you're using Claudia regularly. So you can learn more about them as you use the tool. All right, now that we have explored Claudia features, let's test interacting with cloud code using its graphical interface. In CC Projects menu, just select new cloud code session and then put the project folder path over here. You can paste the path to the folder you want to work on or click the folder icon here to open the interface for selecting the folder. Okay, now I will ask Claudia to create a Minesweeper game with new style color and cool animations. Use HTML, CSS, and JS. Once ready, just press enter and let Claudia process the request. Here, we can see the details of the conversation, such as the session ID, model used, working directory, and available tools. And after a while, Claudia will give a response. First, it will create a to-do list based on the prompt, and then proceed to work on the tasks step by step. Here, it's creating the HTML file, and once it's finished, it will create the CSS file, and then the JavaScript file, and so on. Now, I will skip a bit to when this generation is finished. Okay, so Claude already finished the request over here, and again, there are some details added by Claudia here, such as the total cost, duration, turns, and total tokens. Cloud also provides a description up here, such as how to play the game, key visual effects added, and features implemented. So next, I will open the result in the browser. And here's the Minesweeper game, so let's test it out. Okay, it seems we can click the tiles with no problem, uh, and then right-click to flag a tile. And so let's keep opening the tiles here. Um, and so I clicked on a mine there, so it's game over. And I can start a new round by clicking on the play again button. And yeah, so Claudia can run Cloud through Cloud Code in no problem at all. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. So overall, that's how you can use Claudia's graphical interface to work with Cloud Code. I will say while it's actually very polished, Claudia is still in active early development, so you might run into some bugs or missing features. For example, when I tried running an agent on my machine, I got an agent execution failed error. I couldn't find any fix for it on the internet, so I might need to run the app in debug mode to figure out what's going on if I want to get the background agents working. There is also no official installer at the moment, so you'll need to build the app yourself from source. That being said, the team is actively working on improvements. For example, they're planning to add features like usage alerts, so you'll get notified when Cloud hits a certain credit limit. But if you're okay with a few rough ages, Claudia is already a powerful tool, it's open source, has secure permission controls, and it makes working with cloud code a lot more productive. If you want to check it out, you'll find the link in the description. And now we have come to the end of this video. So, what do you think about Claudia? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Koei Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.